Hey guys, Lucas here. I have a short software update video for you, so let's jump right in. Let's go to Zestop uh, website and let's log in. All right, here we have the Zestop web dashboard and today I wanted to talk to you about our server types. So as you can see here, we have two types of servers and as we call them, nodes. Uh, type one costs $6 per hour and it has 10 uh, GTX 1080 Ti cards on board and it scores almost 2100 uh, in Octane Bench, which is basically a beast of a machine for only $6. Uh, the other type is, uh, the other type costs $12 per hour and it has uh, eight Tesla V100, each with 16 gigabytes of VRAM versus 11 gigs uh, on, on this server. And the server scores almost 3,000, uh, almost 3,000 points in Octane Bench, bench which is like 50% more powerful than the other machine, um, for only $12, which is something, uh, which is something I would go all in, all in on, because these cards cost thousands of dollars per card and you get a server with eight of them for only twelve dollars per hour that's that's simply amazing and um, okay so let's let's start it up and see what they look like on a in an actual in, in action so i already have a system image created if you don't you can create a new one here gonna hide it and let's put system here we can select your uh, type of type of machine I'll go for Tesla click put uh, let's give it a few minutes to to boot Okay, uh, the machine is ready. As we can see, activity always ready. The GPU type V100. Here's the least root duration, only a few seconds. So let's connect to it. So let's click here. It will download a RDP file for us. I'm going to antique remember me because I use uh, multiple remote connection uh, desktops. Uh, okay, so here's your account ID. Here you have to put in your account password, same as on the, on the website. And now we're connecting to the machine remotely. Okay, here we have the Windows login screen. It will take a moment to, uh, to get it started. All right, we are in. So now let's check. Let's check the GPUs on board. Let's start up GPU Z. Um, all right, 
So as you can see, Tesla V100 and here all the cards in the server. All right, awesome. Let's close it. Um, you can start up Afterburner as well. All right, here's the temperature of all the cards. Amazing. Okay, so now we can disconnect disconnect okay we can sh shut down the system okay and now let's do the same on the server type 1 with uh, 10 GTX 1080 Ti cards. Let's give it a moment to completely shut down the system. Okay. All right. Uh, so the server is turned off, and now let's try put our image on this server, server type 1, okay, so boot system, let's go for 1080 Ti and boot. Once again, we have to give it a few minutes to boot up and then we can log into the machine remotely. Um, okay, the machine uh, the machine is ready. We can see always ready. GPU type 1080 Ti and duration a few seconds. So let's try to connect to the machine. Let's download the file again. And open it. password all right once again we can see the Windows login uh, screen let's give it a moment to start Okay, so GTX 1080 Ti, perfect. And here all the cards, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten cards, amazing. Um, let's take a look at the afterburner. Just a quick look. Still starting up. All right, so we have all the cards and their temperatures, amazing. Um, okay, you can disconnect. Okay, and shut it down. All right guys, so that was the a quick software update. Uh, giving you a short overview of what, uh, of what servers we have right now. Uh, so feel free to create an account if you don't have one or if you already have login and take them for a test ride. Thanks.